Hey folks, Perry here. Welcome back to this Let's Play of City Skylines, where New Monroe is well, still a boomtown. 3,600 people. Gotten the first part of my out freeway underground freeway system or conversion conversion finished. It's basically letting. Eh, where's the traffic map? It's. Letting vehicles, trucks, whatnot, head down below and head up. Which, as you'll notice, has greatly reduced the traffic topside. Getting to oh, look at houses growing to level four. Not too shabby. Section road needs to be one way eyes. That's better. Any other bad spots through here? Do, 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 do. Let's see. Right now, I'm still trying to save up some money for the inbound part of the underground freeway. Uh, unemployment's reasonable. I'm going to have to cut this corner off to build the sideway. One intersection there. Let's see what what I do then below ground is I have crisscrossing east west uh, freeways that that uh, basically forms an underground grid pattern. And I usually don't go this far. This is this grew organically kind of a way I don't normally let it go. So this part of town here is going to be a little peculiar. If you go and draw a road from from here, well, that doesn't work. Well, that rubric's not going to work. So let's that's the ten spaces basically. It looks like. Or is that's eight? It's eight. That's twenty there. Not quite 20. Get this whole section down, hold this one down a bit. 
Because normally I want that. <laughs> and the painful thing is going to be the fact that I didn't fix the alignment before I built the underground roads, which means this is going to have to be redone at great pain to myself. At some point. Down the road. Eighty thousand saved. Time to go to work. Connect that. Yeah, that burned more cash than I expected it to. Thus returns the madness. Probably should have done this in between sessions. But also probably useful to show you the, uh, the negatives of this method. So off ramps be dropping off on that side, so... I'm tempted to redirect these. I reimagine these so they're that one like connects there and then the other side connects here. And they link up underground, so there's basically one per a lot less asphalt if I do it that way. Let's see if I can... And I could also be doing this the worst possible choice, so it's... So we're going to move you. Move you down a block.
Some too steep, some too steep, some too steep. The other downside of this me this mechanism, this method, is you can't bulldoze roads through terrain. Not easily. When I'm in a particularly bad mood, I just you know mow it all down and let it rebuild. I'm trying to avoid that right here. Believe it or not, there's actually a seam you can usually hit. Although it's failing me right now. Oh, so we're going back to roads. Zoning wasn't damaged, which is important. Page down. So that's an on ramp. Ugly little thing, but it's, it'll work. And as yet, there's no reason to go out that way, and I didn't really leave room for an off ramp. Dang it. Nah. I swear I've done these better before. As of right now, this is really a spectacular case of user of user error. First little bit of cash there. that and I mean one of my other limiting factors I have going on right now too is I don't want traffic entering on the wrong side I could easily have them entering in the fast lane off ramps and stuff like that. I'm trying to avoid that. And while this has worked well for me in the past for all of the cities I've built, really, I'm getting the feeling I'm rustier at this than I want to imagine. Of course, one other issue here, too, is I'm dealing with a depth one freeway. Depth two 
and varying the depth too as the route travels is oftentimes quite quite beneficial. What was that first one? Well, this is probably boring to watch. Um, or potentially boring to watch, I don't know. Come on, let me hit it. I saw you right there. Hole right there, same place. Now, whether or not there is, getting on my nerves. And there's so much I can stand before I can't stand no more. Yeah, I've built these poorly. think this save a little bit more money. I didn't really make that mistake. I did. Or I'm just totally losing my mind at this point. out. 
The landfill's almost full, which is something you always have to watch for. Landfill status. Water is an issue. Well, first things first. Landfill. We will build we'll build one down here towards the edge of town for the time being. Landfill. I always forget if they require power and water. They don't require water. They do require power. And because sewage, Okay. So we're going to adjust these now. Start working in more of the master plan. We're going to alternate. So one side, one side, one side, one side, and so on. So this, they're at every intersection, but only on a per block basis, basically. And this will, yes, be quite the mess to undo. Oh, I didn't have this one built right anyways. Find me the way. So 
this is for people getting on the freeways. This is for people getting off the freeways. And we'll make a break here as I probably fix this one intersection at least, and then we'll come back tomorrow. So, as always, thanks for watching. Leave any questions, comments below. Feel free to hit subscribe if you want to see more stuff along these lines, or if you have other ideas, leave comments. Um, have a great one, and see you next time.